Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 21 video in VCP8 data center virtualization 2023. So in this video, I'm going to show you what is lifecycle manager in VMware vSphere and how to use it. So <coughs> lifecycle manager is basically, uh, uh, you can say before it was known as a update manager. So it has all the available, uh, you can say the patches, uh, upgrades, uh, baseline or settings which you can configure on your VMware infrastructure to sync the latest version or uh, vendor specific images from the uh, VMware directly. So uh, uh, we'll, we'll verify and see what are the settings, how we can do this, how we can configure on all these things. So, if you talk about my infrastructure in this video, it's going to remain same what we are using since last few videos. So directly without wasting time, let's go here on our vCenter server. So this is our vCenter server. So if you go on here and click on lifecycle manager, you will see this is the lifecycle manager dashboard and you, what you have. So you have here in action, you have sync updates, import updates and uh, you have a hardware compatibility list also so sync uh, hardware compatibility list also you can sync so this is what hardware compatibility list is basically it's going to compare what infrastructure or hardware you are running and against that hardware what are the feature or what are the versions available for your uh, environment so if you see the on the uh, image depot you can see here uh, esxi version and vendor add-ons and last is a component so component is basically your drivers you can see so whatever driver identified in your environment it's going to show here so you can see here if i talk about the components you you can see here nvme driver you got you get the uh, atechi fiber uh, channel driver and then the vmware tools upgrade till the latest version which is 12.3. Uh, uh, zero and you can see against each you can see the release date also what is the release date and category if it's an enhancement or a bug fix whatever you can see here and same in vendor specific also you can see here um, these are the uh, vendor specific image so if you want to see uh, like Dell related uh, image or Lenovo related image you can see here so if I show you version here, you can see the version details and release details. So if I show you the HP Synergy server customization, you can see this is released on this date and version what ESXi uh, version it contains. So you can see all the information same for basically for specific versions, flag servers, you can see what are the version it has, what is the release date and all. So if you want to see for any server, you want to see the hardware specific image based on the uh, hardware you can see also so you can see dell add-on power s server running uh, esxi 3.7.0 uh, u3 so again you can see here like dell add-ons uh, power edge server which is running this is the latest version and you can see the it is released on uh, september 20 21st so if you want to see if you click here you will see what are the uh, package inside this so you will see here broadcom driver for uh, uh, basically vm kernel adapter then uh, configuration dell configuration window uh, basically configuration bundle and then factory install component for esxi so these everything is covered so if you select any of these uh, so the esxi host always going to come with pre-installed with the latest firmware or latest uh, latest uh, drivers uh, component which is going to support your hardware infrastructure and here you can see the ESXi itself so if you select any ESXi version you will see what are the drivers and everything installed on this so based on your uh, specific hardware based on your specific uh, operating system version you can check and install any version in your infrastructure and then you have an update by default <coughs> In update you will see here what are the updates available so if you see here there are total four pages currently here in my environment so you can see here which are the patches so the latest patch if I show you here uh, going from here if I show you the latest patch this is the latest patch so 
वीएम वेयर ई एस एक्स आई एट डॉट जीरो डॉट टू पैच रिलीज दिस इज द पैच आई डी एंड सोलिटी इज इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड देन टाइप इज रोल अप इन्हेंसमेंट ई एस एक्स आई वर्जन वर्ड एंड इम्पैक्ट इट विल रिबूट योर मशीन एंड इट विल पुट योर ई एस एक्स आई होस्ट इन मेंटेनेंस मोड एंड दिस इज द रिलीज डेट एंड ऑल सो यू हैव ऑल द ऑप्शन वट एवर अपडेट्स इज अवेलेबल टिल यू कैन से द फ्रॉम वट एवर सपोर्टेड सो uh the supported esxi is start from 6.7 so it has released from there up to uh, latest version 8.0 and then import ios if you have any custom ios uh, with you you can import here also so it's going to import show you in, in imported uh, ios and baseline these are the baseline so you, you will see here host security uh, patches so uh if i show you uh basically here uh, these are the predefined from uh, vmware and category you can see patches so this is non critical critical sec uh, and host security so uh, version applies on 8 7 and 6.7 so last modified 3 hours before as per my environment and then you will see here what are the component it's cover so you will see all the details like whatever patches or whatever uh, things this particular patch uh, contains so you will see everything here so this is basically life cycle manager and uh, on the part of setting you will see here patch download first is the automatic download setting if you see, uh, see here automatic downloads is enabled automatic download task name vmware vspare life cycle manager this is what it's going to show you under the Uh, recent task activity and download patches download uh, this is time is scheduled so when it's going to download and download task name if you want to change something else you can change it and patch setup also this is going to be uh, same it's going to uh, if you see here uh, source download patches directly from internet if you have a uh, your uh, direct uh, repository created you can put it there also so uh, as of now by default it's going to uh, check source from vmware and uh, what are the components it's going to do so you can see partner provide uh, add on essi and vmware certify so th this is what uh, basically it's going to download all the patch from vmware itself and then you have a image life cycle image manage uh, is also <coughs> one option if you see here what it's going to perform when it's going to uh, do the remediation so uh, your changes will be override default if you have a uh, uh, <coughs> basically default setting if you have a uh, apply on all images so whatever you are making changes here it will apply on all the images which is there in your environment so vm do not change the power state of any vm if you want to if you apply this then if there is a remediation going on it will power off all the virtual machine so this is one of the critical and retry policy it is going to retry 5 uh, retry delay 5 minute and number of try retry it's going to take 3 retry so parallel remediation also if you want to run a multiple esxi host on same time it can do a parallel uh, uh, this thing also enabling parallel remediation will allow it to remove all esxi host in the cluster are the, uh, that are in the same maintenance mode so if you run this if the es multiple esxi host in uh, maintenance mode it will run uh, uh, together on all the machines so prevent remediation if the hardware compatibility issue found so this is critical i recommend you go ahead and select this so this is good and baselining also one of the critical thing so again the kind of same setting here if you want to do to pallet remediation is stopped and vm I take a vm snapshot yes keep snapshot forever so if there is a vm uh, which is running on esxi host and if it's uh, you, you allow to run a maintenance uh, esx uh, put the apply the image then it will take the snapshot also so these are the some default setting what you can do uh, in your life uh, life cycle manager to change the setting so now if i go here on the inventory and if i show you the same setting is coming from my life cycle manager so if you see here you can change the setting from here also 
so <coughs> ESXi version what version you can uh, basically if you go here and click on edit you will see ESXi version so resume editing so what ESXi version you want to apply on this particular cluster you can select from here so you will see all the all, all the versions which is available and compatible with your ESXi uh, host and your vCenter you will see here so this is the latest uh, if you see here it's released on 9 20, uh, 21 September so it's going to say so here if you have any vendor specification add-on also you can do here like if you want to apply let's say SP Synergy server customization then you can apply this also so you can basically select this uh, image as per your requirement so whenever you remediate any host it it is up going to apply all the all this uh, uh, what you call uh, drivers uh, ESXi uh, OS uh, together so if you see here driver driver also is there if you want to uh, add any firmware driver it will do the firmware driver update also so hardware uh, compatibility uh, if required you can run it so this is the overall structure of your uh, this thing so this is what it's going to look like now if you see here i got total three esxi hosts uh, which is non-compliant so showing three uh, three or four esxi is out of compliance in the cluster image so why this is cluster image out of it's because in the in the image we have selected in the cluster image we have selected 8.0.u2 but 8.0.u2 is running only on my this esxi host you see here rest is not running uh, rest is running 8.0.1 so that's why it's showing the uh, <coughs> non-compliant so we are going to see this in next video how we can apply uh, apply the image on esxi host to make them um, uh, basically compliant with the, our cluster image so uh, so these settings are uh, basically what you can do through life life cycle manager so thank you for watching uh, and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post my, my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye